Mount Etna volcano cracks open. Scientists warn of escalating activity beneath Sicily's fiery giant. Sicily's Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano, has once again seized the attention of the scientific world. Over the past several months, satellite data and seismic instruments have revealed new cracks spreading along the volcano's upper slopes, accompanied by vivid lava flows and tremors shaking the mountain's flanks. The fiery glow that now illuminates the Sicilian night sky has raised questions. Is this the beginning of another major eruptive cycle, or something even greater? Cracking Mountain on-the-ground observers and remote sensors operated by Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, have confirmed that fissures opened along the southern and southeastern flanks of Mount Etna during mid-2025. These cracks have allowed molten lava to pour onto the surface in slow-moving rivers of glowing basalt. Aerial photographs captured by European satellites show clear evidence of deformation, ridges rising, slopes fracturing, and hot plumes emanating from new vents. Scientists say these cracks are not random. They are the surface expression of powerful forces below. Magma, stored in chambers several kilometers deep, is pushing upward widening existing weaknesses in the mountain's structure. Geophysicists call this a pressurization phase, and it often precedes a surge in eruptive behavior. Etna is breathing again, says Dr. Giuseppe Lombardo, a volcanologist with INGV Catania. The ground deformation and continuous seismic swarms we are recording indicate that magma is on the move. It's a complex and evolving situation. Rivers of fire and clouds of ash. Eyewitnesses from nearby villages such as Nicolosi and Zafarana Etnea reported dazzling fountains of lava erupting from the southeast crater, one of Etna's most active vents. The lava flows, though contained within uninhabited areas, are carving new paths down the slopes. At night, the spectacle can be seen from as far away as Catania, painting the Mediterranean sky in shades of orange and thermal imaging from the European Space Agency's Sentinel-2 satellite revealed surface temperatures exceeding 1,000 C along the new fissure lines. Meanwhile, volcanic tremor data show steady oscillations, a rhythmic heartbeat that volcanologists interpret as magma movement through subterranean conduits. Ash emissions have periodically darkened the skies, forcing temporary closures at Catania's international airport. Pilots have been advised to avoid the volcanic plume, which occasionally drifts high into the stratosphere, spreading fine ash across the Ionian Sea. What the science says. Despite the intense activity, experts emphasize that this behavior, though dramatic, remains within Etna's known range of patterns. The volcano has been erupting intermittently for over half a million years, producing both spectacular but relatively safe lava fountains and, less commonly, powerful explosive events. However, recent deformation data suggests that Etna's internal plumbing system is changing. INSAR, Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, Satellites have detected measurable uplift on the eastern flank, where the volcano's massive structure slowly slides toward the sea. 
This movement, driven by gravitational stress and magma intrusion, raises concerns about potential slope instability, a risk that could, in the long term, trigger a larger scale eruption or flank collapse. Seismic networks have recorded hundreds of small earthquakes beneath Etna since early spring 2025. Most are shallow, less than five kilometers deep, consistent with magma fracturing its way upward. Gas sensors have also picked up rising concentrations of sulfur dioxide, SO2, a classic precursor signal for heightened volcanic activity. We're observing an interconnected series of warning signs, ground inflation, crack formation, elevated gas output, and persistent tremor, explains volcanologist Dr. Lucia Ferraro. Each one alone might not mean much, but together, they suggest that Etna's magma system is recharging. Are we heading toward a major eruption? The question now facing scientists and residents alike is whether this phase marks the onset of a much larger eruption. Historically, Etna's eruptive cycles fluctuate between mild lava flows and more violent paroxysms that can send ash kilometers into the air. The 2001 and 2002 O3 eruptions, for instance, covered nearby towns in ash and forced thousands to evacuate. Today, monitoring networks are far more advanced. Instruments on the volcano transmit continuous data streams to research centers, enabling rapid analysis of even subtle changes in temperature, gas composition, or seismic vibration. These systems are what allow scientists to issue timely alerts. And right now, the official status remains yellow, indicating elevated but not extreme unrest. Still, many geologists are cautious. Etna operates on cycles of buildup and release, says Dr. Ferraro. The cracks and lava flows we see today could either fade out in weeks or mark the prelude to a more powerful eruptive phase later this year. It's too early to say for sure. A living laboratory. For scientists, Etna is not just a hazard. It's also one of the world's most valuable natural laboratories. The volcano offers rare opportunities to study how magma systems evolve in real time. From drones sampling volcanic gases to high-resolution radar satellites tracking ground movement, Etna serves as a global testbed for volcanic prediction technologies.